Okay, so let's actually get InDesign up and running. So remember that you should have a folder uh, called Neon Issue 6 or whatever you want to call it on your OneDrive. And in there should be your project file as well as um, an Instagram and a Twitter logo. And later you'll be adding any photos that you're going to be including in your article into that same folder. Um, so uh, I've got loads of crap in mine. I've been very disorganized, but I do have fundamentally those key three files. So I'm going to double click on Neil template final converted and that should open up. So um, whilst that's opening, mine's been very, very speedy, which I'm pleasantly surprised by. Uh, but yours will probably take quite a bit longer. Uh, a quick overview of what InDesign actually is. As I mentioned before, it's a desktop publishing software. It's designed for creating um, uh, magazines, books, uh, newspapers, layouts for print. Um, it's kind of a combination of Microsoft Word. Um, so you can obviously you can edit and do anything you need to to text, uh, but it brings in design elements so you can uh, it's kind of a little bit like Photoshop or something called Adobe Illustrator. People tend to get a little bit nervous, a little bit freaked out when they first start on InDesign. Um, and you guys, I know you well, you do have a little bit of a tendency when you're looking at software to uh, let it kind of uh, overwhelm you a bit but trust me it's not that complicated and i am going to try and talk you through it kind of very step by step so um what have you got on indesign let's have a little look at some of the things that we have so over on um obviously the center of the screen we've got uh, any pages that we're currently working on editing and it's very very quick and easy to add more pages should you need to um, in the left hand side we have our toolbar um, and um, the main ones that you'll find yourself using are the selection tool which will allow you to click on things and move them around resize them reposition them etc uh, the text tool which you'll need to create any uh, new text um, and the frame tool which you'll need when you're putting in images of any kind. So those are probably the three main tools that you'll find yourself using. And whenever you've got a tool selected, for example, the text tool, over on the right hand side, there's a properties tab. Um, and there are various different things that you'll be able to change, loads of little different things that you'll be able to change, uh, like obviously what the actual typeface is and all of that loads of things so basically toolbar on the left in the middle we've got the actual pages we're editing and then on the right hand side we've got the properties tab which is where we actually can make changes to whatever particular uh, tool we're working with um, but something else i do need to introduce you to is the pages tab so the pages tab will be on your right hand side um, and at the moment, we're looking at something called an A master. This one's called A left hand start. Um, and beneath that, we've got some blank pages. These ones are the ones that we're actually going to be doing our editing on. OK, so um, I'm going to wait for the next video to go into detail about what the difference between uh, a master page and a normal page is um, and uh, i bet you're all waiting with bated breath see you there